treasures, Holly back with you for day number four of the five days of Easter collaboration brought to you by Kara Brandon Creations and Dear Julie Julie. I sound like an advert there, don't I? <laughs> so day number four of the collaboration and we have these lovely pages to work with. Now we've seen this image before and I've said you know that that reminds me of Joe and Laurie from the book Little Women. I've still not gotten time to read it again but I'll get there eventually one day. So these are the lovely vintage images that we have from Dear Julie Julie. Beautiful vintage Easter images lovely little bunnies okay and this is the page that we have from Kara Brandon Creations these are the more modern sort of Easter um, images that we're working with so I have an idea well I have a couple a few ideas but I will go away for just a minute. I'll get these cut out, inked, sewn around them, all that good stuff. And I will be right back with you to show you where we're going with this. Talk to you in just a minute. Or a nanosecond in your world. Okay, treasures, I am right back with you. As you can see, I have everything cut out. I have sewn around um, most everything, not these you know, little small pieces. Um, and I have inked around everything. So, these big guys, I have backed them, backed all of them. And these are going to be journaling cards. So I'm gonna put these aside for the moment. Um, I don't know if I'll do it on camera or off, but with these guys, I'm just going to add um, a bit of lace, a bit of trim, you know, something to zhuzh them up a little bit. But the main thing that I want to do today are some little dangles with these. Well, some of them are not going to be so little, but basically this is the sort of thing that I want to do with these guys. Um, these, got another one here. These are a couple of the dangles that I've um, done in the past and you know when I've just done some bulk making um, to keep on hand to put in journals um, when I need them. So I want to do the same sort of thing with these guys and I mentioned the other day these are some bits that I had left over from oh goodness what was that day day two or three I think anyway I said that I was going to come back to use these and I'm keeping my promise I also had um We've had a couple of the library cards and uh, postage stamps that I said, you know, I'll, I'll bring those back in later and use them. I have also cut out some extras of the, the eggs that we have already used these in days past, but it's the beauty of a digi kit. You can print it as many times as you want, can't you? And I've also taken the, um, the tabs that we had and I've cut those in half and inked them up and they can also be used in these. Now, one thing, I had this bit here, these bits, let me get an uncut page. Those are this right here. Okay, gosh, how different that looks with the green ink around it. Doesn't even look like the same thing, really. Um, my point is, 
I had another idea that I wanted to do with that. And it's this. Oh, try to shield it from the, the light. All I did, I scored between each one and folded it. I also put backing paper on and I've stamped lines. And, you know, my stamping's not perfect, but it doesn't matter because, you know, this is a junk journal. So that is one thing, one idea I had that I wanted to, to use this for. So that will be a little, um, a little writing spot. Oh, losing my words as usual. A little writing spot that I will tuck inside the journal, inside one of my little pockets. So I'll put that guy aside for now. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, I had more than one idea for that. So I just printed it and cut it twice. All right. So we have all of this to work with. And I have also pulled out... Um, some of the fussy cut pieces from Dear Julie Julie's um, Bright and Fun Ephemera Pages uh, digital kit. If you remember when I showed you that kit, she has three pages of um, fussy cuts. So I pulled out some of those bits, some butterflies and flowers and some Easter eggs that I thought we could use in this whole this whole setup. In addition to this, <laughs> I also have these things. Um, these are just some bits and bobs, little um, little tags and things that I have printed up from from other things. Um, some words that I thought we can include, butterflies, just all sorts of little paper bits. I also have some little scraps of lace that we might use, beads definitely, uh, buttons definitely, um, also some charms, losing words, and also some little little tiny die cut flowers so we have all of this stuff to work with I'm going to get myself a little bit more organized and I will come back and I'll do one of these on camera with you I'll be right back okay treasures I'm back with you and you can see my desk is full of all sorts of bits and bobs um let's see just going to add a couple more things. These you might recognize from the unboxing I did the other day um, for Splattered Inky. These are some of the little um, cute little bits that she has included as part of her wrapping. And I always you know, save these little bits like this because I think they're fantastic to use in different projects and I will possibly use some of this today. So all I've done there is, you know, cut those open. So I can use them possibly as part of my dangle. All right. So we've got all sorts of things to work with, with a good variety of sizes. Oh, I want some of these. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? been waiting for a project to use these on they're um these big beautiful shiny sequins love 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 them all right we need something 
to put all of our bits on. So we will use some bulb pins. And these are, I don't know what these are actually called other than I think maybe coilless safety pins. As you can see, there's don't have that coil bit down at the bottom like you would in a normal pa uh, paper clip safety pin. I'm trying desperately to find a normal one. Here's a little one. Let's see. So you can see the difference. The little one has the coil down there at the end, and the big one doesn't. Um, I suppose you could use a normal safety pin with a coil. Um, you know, you just have to sort of deal with that part of it. But I do quite like the coilless safety pins as well as our um, gourd pins or bulb pins. Or There's loads of names that these guys go by. But absolutely fantastic for um, decorating journals. All right, so I'm going to start with one of these larger tags. And I have to admit, I've not used a larger tag like this before doing a dangle. But. I don't see any reason whatsoever that I couldn't use it. And to make my holes, I'm using this guy. And I'm sure there's no way on earth I can show you that clearly. But that is, I think it's a one millimeter hole punch. And it makes teeny tiny holes like that. Now, you could do it without anything like this and just poke your hole with your pen. Um, but I don't like how things tend to get bent. Your, you know, your paper and whatnot can you know, get bent and damaged. So I would rather just use this hole punch. And what I'm going to do, my goal here is to build up a stack of ephemera. Now, what I've just noticed, if I line those up, let me, I'll get one of these just because it's a little easier. Put it on. Okay, so if I have it like that, my poor little bunny's head is covered up. So you have to be, you know, you have to think about what do you want to see in your tag. I want to see my bunny's head. So I want this part to hang about there. So all I've done is torn off a bit there. And let's see, I will put, putting my blending mat over here to the side, just out of view, so I can ink things as needed. All right, so see, I've just added pink ink to the bit there where I tore it. Now I'm going to make another hole. There, that now should hang more nicely. Let's see. That's better. I'm happier with that. So yeah, just keep in mind what you want to be able to see, what you want to show in your stack, your, yeah, your dangle. That's what I'm trying to say, isn't it? Let's see, what else would I like to have here? I'd like to have a longer bit there. 
Um, so I think I'll use this here. So if I put it right there, it's going to cover Bunny's face. But if I if I offset the hole, hopefully it will lean to the side. So you know you don't have to make everything you know hang straight and centered. Hopefully this will work the way I would like. And of course it doesn't quite. It sort of does. It sort of falls to the side naturally, but oh well, it's good enough. But you can see there where I punched the hole there at the corner. So it's good enough for me anyway. I'm not, not going to whinge too much about it. Um, let's, let's have some sort of little number tag on here. What do I want? Since I have this long one here, I don't want to have another long one. I, you know, I'd like to have a variety on here. Oh, one of these ovals would be nice. And I might come back and, you know, add some ink to some of these that don't have ink. But I don't want to get stuck on that right now. And um, I don't want you to have to sit here forever watching me do little bits. So I have just one of these little um, tickets that came from, I think it was day three. Of our pages. Now that's completely covered up my number so I want to rethink that. What about if I put it that way? That works better. And now I want, I'm going to put one of these little buttons on, I think. So I have these paper buttons that are part of today's pages. And I also have real buttons. That's pretty cute. And I'm going to use one of my little labels here that, were originally page tabs. Let's see, I like springtime. I'm going to offset this one a little bit. And actually, I think I might put my button on after that. Yeah, I like that. Now, I shall choose. I've got to have one of these. Absolutely. I love that shine. And a little. That's cute. And now I want some beads and I'm going to try not to be so picky in particular about what I get on here if I can get anything on here at all So I hope that you are all doing well. And I would love, love, love to see what you guys have been making with the um, 
five days of Easter collab kit. So, you know, if you are making things and posting them, please do tag it with hashtag five days Easter 2022 so we can see what everyone's making. All right. I love it. I absolutely love, love, love this one. It's quite a big one, but absolutely fabulous. Now, you know what? I've just noticed a problem here. This pin is going to hook on to the page. Um, we'll just pretend like this is our page. Like that. Oops. You have to remember, unlike me, that everything has to go in reverse order. Oh, dear me. All right, so let's try that again now. Yep. So we'll be going from small to large, Holly. Hello. See, aren't you glad that you get to see my screw-ups? So, you don't have to do it. Yeah, that's, I completely did that just for your benefit. I didn't actually mess up at all. And I need to remember that, um, you know, everything goes backwards, right? Gosh, I hope I'm thinking about this correctly. How embarrassing if I'm messing everything up again. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, it wouldn't be the first time, nor the last, I am sure. And that's one guarantee is that I can and will mess things up. But thankfully... I can fix it. Come on. And see, this is why it's good to have a coilless safety pin because it's all stuck. Ow. All right. I'm going to fight with this later off camera. The problem is this particular bead here you closer that pink bead is too big to go round that bend so I'm gonna have to get rid of that one but once I get rid of that one then everything's gonna come round and it's gonna sit properly okay so that is our first tag so I am going to go off camera I am going to make a few more of these and I will come back and show you what I have and hopefully give you some ideas to make yours. So I'll be back in a minute. Hello treasures. All right, I am back. Did you miss me? That whole nanosecond that I was gone from your existence. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, I've gone ahead with these three. Um, oh, need to snip that off. Um, I've gone ahead and added lace to these three. Um, I glued it on and sewed it on, as you can see. This one, um, I'm, that one is going to be a side tuck. So I put the lace on the side of it. I do really like um, side tuck, or this isn't going to be a side tuck, it will go into a side tuck. I'll explain clearly one day, maybe. <laughs> um, but what I was trying to say is, I really do like 
um, side tuck pockets where you have two on one page. I think those um, are really cute. So I will find another card to make the second one on a page to go with that one. Um, this one too, I think will be a, it'll be a larger side tuck. I really like this lace on that one. I hope you can see that clearly. Sorry about the lighting. Um, and then this one, I'm not overly thrilled with this one, but you know, hey ho, I'm not very happy with this lace to be honest but you know if I really really don't like it I can always take it off and replace it and I didn't sew this one on just um, because it is um, in that sort of U shape I didn't didn't feel like trying to follow that <laughs> all right we'll put those aside and look at all of these dangles that I've made be glad that you didn't have to sit here and watch me go through all of them. <laughs> but I really love these. I think they're so pretty. And they do look so nice on a page or um, even hanging on the edge of a page. The, you know, nice little blingy stuff hanging out the edge of your book. Um, a lot of them... I do have, oh, I've got to show you that. Hold on, guys. Let me turn this off and see. It's dark, but I think you can see better. Um, there's the, um, goodness gracious, pattern on the back of that there from when I've tea dyed it. I think I must have put um, a stencil on it when I was tea dyeing it. I've tried and tried to get the nice patterns and it's it's challenging. <laughs> but what I was intending to tell you is on a lot of these, I have backed them with um, tea dyed paper and whatnot so that these can be journaling spots as well. And, you know, they're, I think especially these smaller ones like this, they're almost like a secret journaling spot because you know who's going to think to look on the back of a tiny little dangle tag you know to see what you've written <laughs> so they're almost hiding in plain sight aren't they but I think they're really cute and you know you don't have to put you know some of them I've just gone you know a bit bananas with I've you know, loaded them up with lots of different, you know, little taggy bits and blingy bits and uh, beads and all. But you don't have to go overboard. Like this one here, I think is really cute. And all I did, I added, um, what is that, three or four beads and a little bow. And that's actually, I think, one of my favorites. Really sweet. Um, and here's this one. I didn't add any beads or button or anything. I just put the little bow on with a few little, little taggy bits. So, you know, you can do these in any sort of way you want to. You know, be creative. Do what you like. You know, just try things out and see what pleases you. You know, what kind of look do you want to go for? And the nice thing about these is they're easily changeable. You know, so if I decide at some point that, like, I'm not quite so sure that I like that button there, well, it's very, very easy to take that button off. In fact, let's let's go ahead and do that. And this also can show you what I mean about putting the things on backwards. Okay, there is... I'm going to turn this light back on, guys, and hope, hope you can see. Oh, oh, dear. 
here is the opening to the uh i'll keep wanting to say paper clip sorry guys my my vocabulary has flown away somewhere anyway that's the opening of the um bulb pin and that is what you know i would attach to the page so when i put everything on i'm starting with what would be in the front what would be facing you know the viewer so these beads are going to be the, in the front so everything i put on i put it on so that it's facing you know forwards okay so there i've got my bow on Okay. Oh. I just don't know what to do about this lighting, guys. You know, if you've been watching me for a little while, you'll know that I have struggled and struggled with this lighting. And I thought that it was going to be all sorted out when my sweet daughter got me this um, lighting set up for mother's day but i don't know i'll keep working with it maybe i've just not found the proper setting yet but i do apologize guys that my lighting isn't better all right so yeah i like that better without the button and if i hadn't been running my mouth it would have been even quicker to change it so these are easily changeable and most of these I can use in any sort of journal. It's not going to have to be an Easter journal. And, you know, somewhere... Okay, this one has a little tag on that says Easter. Now, this one does look, you know, a bit more Easter. We've got our bunny here and everything. But that, you know, bunny doesn't have to be Easter, does it? I could take off this Easter egg and this little tag that says Easter, and then that can go into any sort of spring journal or even summer journal. Um, that could be a woodland journal. So these are very versatile, and the ones that I don't use in this current journal, this spring and Easter journal that I'm doing for the collaboration, the ones I don't use I can put away in my stash and <laughs> that's a whole lot that's a whole lot and to be honest with you it didn't take me terribly long but you, you wouldn't have wanted to sit here and watch the whole thing <laughs> especially since i'm watching other videos whilst i do it <laughs> but anyway guys this is these are my projects for today day four of the collaboration i hope i've given you some ideas things um what to do and what not to do so i hope that you are having a fantastic week and you're finding things to be happy about oh goodness guys i saw the most beautiful bright rainbow today it was raining. It was it just started pouring rain, and there was even a crack of thunder. Something that doesn't happen very often here in the UK. Um, and funnily enough, I, I miss that about the weather in America. <laughs> I, I'm a weirdo. I like thunderstorms. Anyway, with this rain came the most beautiful rainbow. And, you know, it just reminds me with all the horrible things going on, there are still fantastic things if you just notice them. So I hope you're noticing the fantastic things in your life. And I will see you back here on Friday, that's the 8th of April, for day number five. That will be our last day, not the last video, because we'll still have the wrap-up video next week. But that's day number five of the five days of Easter collaboration. So I hope I'll see you back here 
then um, please do hit that like button leave me a little comment and subscribe if you haven't already and look at the ladies down below check out their channels and their fantastic projects so i will see you on friday take care love you guys bye